G'day, and a big hello to all you people out there in Netland. My name's Romancing the Shadow. Today I'm going to show you how to turn those AVIs and MPEGs that you download off the internet into DVDs so you can watch them on a standalone DVD player through your television. Alright, just so you can put a face to the voice. That's me there. Hi. Alright. Now the program that I'm going to use is Nero Vision, which is part of the Nero suite. If you don't have it, you need to get it because you can't do it without... Oh, my mate's offline, online. Make up your mind, bloke. Can you please get out of my tutorial? I'm not starting again. Excuse him. All right, let's get on with it. So we'll bring up our Nero Vision or Nero Suite. And we're going to make a video. So we choose video and photo. And down here, make your own DVD. Because that's what we're doing, aren't we? Out of our downloaded files, we're going to make a DVD. Now, don't you worry about this. You will not see this. The reason it's popped up on my screen is because I'm using a program called Camtasia Studio to capture the screen and make this tutorial. And part of that was I had to turn off my hardware accelerator, which I've done. So the next thing you're going to see is this interface. So what do we do? We need to add our video files. So click that. Oh, Sonny, will you go away? In, out, in, out. He's like a bloody dunny door. All right. <laughs> Excuse him. Not a bad chap, actually, for a yank. All right. What's a yank, I hear you ask? That's an American. So I'm going to show you today how to add two files because you know how sometimes when you download movies, they're in two parts, you know, 700 meg or in this case 696 and uh, 698 as opposed to a single file. So we're going to add both of those. There we go. Highlight them both and open. There they are, A and B. Now it tells me that this is exceeding the capacity of a normal DVD, so it's going to shrink it. So I go, yes, please, and there it is. It'll fit there onto a normal DVD. If you don't want to do that, you can use the... The, uh, what is it, the nine? Oh, Sonny Nick, I'm just going to close Yahoo down if you keep this up. <laughs> the guy's a bloody yo-yo. All right, back to our tutorial. At least it makes a bit of entertainment. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we click Next. Just move that up there a bit. And we don't want to call our movie Island, so just to backspace, we'll get rid of that. Now, I want to change the name of this. I want it to be just called A and B. So, here we go to the Edit menu. And I go to my buttons. And I can change those buttons too if I want to be get fancy. Or, you know, just like a different looking button. You can put whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. We'll use these ones for the time being. Okay, now in here. Oh, hang on. First thing down here. Number and text. I want the text only. Okay. So... Now I can right click and get into the properties and I get rid of the word departed. Backspace, that's gone. Okay, let's see how that's changed to A. Do the same one with this one. Properties, right click it. Highlight it, get rid of the word back departed with the backspace. Okay, job done. Now, I would like to have a different background. You can drag these to where you want them. You can either have them up in the top or the bottom, wherever you like. You, know, you have a play around. I want to have a picture in there as what I normally do is I'll Google the picture and I have them here in a little thing called posters. So we go down to well, what are we looking for? The departed ST, there it is, the departed. Highlight it, open it, and there it is. All right, let's move this one down here to make it even. I don't want it to be in yellow, so I go to my font, white, or whatever. You have a little play around. Okay, we're nearly there. So now we just go next. There's nothing else I want to change, so I go next. If you want to, you can actually have a little view of the movie. You just click play here. Oh, I might get engrossed if I hang in. This is a bloody damn good movie, by the way. Okay, so we're all ready to burn. And we go next. And that's it. You're done. We just go burn. In my case, it's asking me to insert a DVD, a blank first, which I'm not going to, because I'm not going to burn it, because I've already burned it. I've just done this for you. All right, folks, that's it. So go out there, enjoy yourselves, make lots of movies. But let me just stress, if you can afford it, you've got to pay to go and see those movies, or otherwise they won't make movies anymore. Oh, look, who's a popular boy today?
<laughs> All right, we're done. See ya.